Pam Byers had some leadership qualities that are all too rare these days. She did not need to be in the limelight. She worked tirelessly for Covenant Network, knew every detail of its operations, and was willing to act as spokesperson when called on. But she also helped to build a strong board, and she gladly promoted its members as the public face of the organization. The wider church could see that it wasn't only professional activists, but also clergy and lay leaders of thriving congregations that were working for change in ordination standards and marriage policies. Even more unusual in our fractious denomination, Pam did not make enemies. She was an ardent advocate for queer persons in the church, pushed hard for change, but she also treated opponents fairly and respectfully. Her opposite numbers, staff and board members of conservative affinity groups, liked and respected her in return. Here's proof of that. When conservative leaders were asked to donate organizational and personal papers so that all sides of issues would be represented in the historical record, they readily agreed to contribute their materials to a collection bearing Pam's name.